everyone and welcome back to another video with me. Today's video is going to be on how to download fonts to your iPad in Procreate. I did make my first iPad video which is right here on how to make your own customizable iPad home screen. So if you haven't checked that out I will put the card right here. I am also very known for my Defont tutorials so I have two different videos on how to download fonts to your iPhone and one to download just in general to your computer. Now I'm kind of tying them all together and doing my third one which is on the iPad. I don't think there are any other devices that you can download fonts to because I know a lot of you on here have an iPad, want to use Procreate, and want to use those fonts for different things. I'm hoping this video will help you guys out. So if you want to keep up with my life and my videos, please give this video a thumbs up and also click my subscribe button. Now that I'm done with that, we can finally get into the video. Let's grab our iPad and open it and I can unlock it with my finger. I'm going to use my Apple Pencil for the majority of this video, but in order to create a new project you just click the plus sign and I chose the square option just for tutorial purposes first we will click the tool button which is right next to the word gallery up top on the left hand side and then in order to add text we click the add button and then add text and here your text will pop up click the bottom left marker button the capital A and lowercase a icon shows all the things that you can edit with the text the spacing the style and the keyboard is just the keyboard so I'm going to type out my name you have access to all of your different fonts that the iPad comes with and some of my downloaded ones are in here as well I'm just browsing through all the different fonts that we have so I'm going to choose this font and I'm going to up the size a bit so we can see the project now the kerning and the tracking is the spacing in between each individual letter the letting is super important if you have two lines that is the space in between the two lines so if something was underneath or above Amy and the opacity is if you want it lighter or darker and just to let you know to undo something you use two fingers and tap if you want to redo it you use three fingers and tap so now I'm going to click the arrow button and move it around to the middle and you can click on the two double squares to click on the layer let me show you how to download the fonts so first I'm going to start with my favorite font website which is creativefabrica.com I do have a monthly subscription that I've mentioned in several of my videos and I pay a very small amount each month it is definitely well worth it in my opinion and again this video is not sponsored I just love their website genuinely so I haven't downloaded this font yet which is called cardigan and I will link that in the description below so you guys can check it out as well but here it just shows you all the different features of the font and I can also preview the text before I download it to make sure it's what I want now let's get to the downloading part of course so we're going to click the green button download and here it's gonna pop up do you want to download and you click download and up top you'll see the circle with the bottom arrow that made a little movement you're gonna click on that and click the font. It's going to lead you to your files folder and your downloads folder. So you're gonna click that zip so you can unzip it and here it'll show up with a folder if there's two items in it and you have the OTF file and the TTF file. Now let's go back into Procreate. I'm going to click the two squares again, double click so we can highlight it. Make sure your text is highlighted when you are changing your font. It is as easy as it shows. Right here it says import font, so that's what we're gonna do. Click on it and it's going to lead you to your previous download, which you don't wanna go into. You wanna go into your downloads folder, which is where all of your files will be. And now you can click on either the OTF or the TTF file, depending which one you wanna download. And then it says import and you don't have to quit Procreate or restart your iPad or anything. It is right there. So go find it and find cardigan. And now I can adjust the size, the kerning, etc. And click done. And to move it around too, you can also click the mouse button up top. And you can also click on the layer here itself and click edit text. I wanted to change this to lowercase because I liked the font in lowercase. So the second website that I use for downloading fonts is defont.com. I've mentioned this in several videos of mine. I have two especially to download fonts to your iPhone and to your computer. So I will insert the cards right here for both of those videos and they will also be in the video description below. But here I'm looking at some calligraphy fonts and finding which one I like best. So I found 
this one was really pretty and it's called Margenta and it is a personal use only font. So again, I do explain this in my previous videos, but we're going to click download, click download again, and that little arrow button with the circle is going to pop up. You're gonna click that, click the zip file, and here it doesn't pop up with a folder, just one font because it just came with the TTF file. So now we can go back into Procreate. Select our text, double click it, make sure it is highlighted, click on the AA icon, find our downloads button, and it will import. And remember the name of the font, which is Margenta. Here is your downloaded font ready to be used. I love how easy it is to download fonts to your iPad and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I always thank you guys, but I'm super thankful for each and every one of you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and again, click my subscribe button. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye.